In this lecture, let's understand the concept of refs in React and let's understand it with an example. To understand refs, the first thing which I am going to do is inside this components folder, I am going to create a new file and I am going to call this file refs demo. Inside this file, let's go ahead and let's create a function. Let's call it refs demo. And let's also go ahead and export this function as default. Now from within this function, we want to return some JSX code. So I'm going to use this return keyword and then I will use fragments here. And inside this, let's write some JSX code. So the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create a span element and here I will say name. Then after this span element, I'm going to create an input element of type text. And finally, I also want to have a button element. Here, let's say show name. All right, let's save the changes. And now what I want is I want to use this component inside this app component. So here I will comment these two line of JSX and I'm going to use this refs demo component. And in order to use this refs demo component, we also need to import it from this file. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that in the web page, this span, this input element, and this button has been displayed. Now, let's understand what is a ref. A ref basically makes it possible to access DOM elements directly within React. So, for example, inside this component, we have this input element. And what we want is, we want to assign this input element to a variable. For that, we can use refs. A ref is nothing but a reference variable, which stores a reference to a DOM element. So, to use refs, the first thing which we need to do is, we need to import useRef from React library. Now, this useRef is another React hook, just like useState. And just like any other React hook, this useRef can only be used inside a functional component. So, let's go ahead and let's call this useRef inside this refs demo component. Now, this useRef is going to return some value. Let's go ahead and let's assign it to a variable. And let's call this variable name input ref. Okay, so this use ref will return some value and that value will be assigned to this name input ref variable. You can also pass an initial value or a default value by specifying it inside these parentheses. So for example, here if I specify maybe hello, then this value hello will be assigned to this name input ref. But if I don't specify any value within these parentheses, in that case, undefined will be assigned to this name input ref variable. And to prove this, let me go ahead and let me log this name input ref in the console. If I save the changes, if I go to the web page and if I open developer console, you will notice that an object has been logged here. Let me clear the console here and let's again refresh the page. So you will notice that an object has been logged here and this object has a property called current which is assigned with this value undefined. Now if I set some value here, let's say hello. And if I save the changes, if I go to the web page, let's clear everything, let's refresh the page again. So now you will notice that this object has this current property and this property is assigned with this value hello, the value which we have passed for this useRef function. But here I'm not going to assign any value. So in that case, undefined will be assigned to this name input ref. Now let me comment this console.log statement. So we learned that using this useRef, we can create a reference variable which will point to a DOM element. So here we have created a reference variable and we can make this reference variable point to a DOM element in the component. For example, let's say if we want to make this reference variable point to this input element, on this input element, all we have to do is we have to use this ref keyword, this ref attribute. And this ref 
is a built-in props just like key okay and to this props you can assign the reference variable so let's go ahead and let's assign this reference variable to this ref props so now when this component will be called and when this JSX will be returned, when it will be rendered in the web page, this variable here will point to this input element in the DOM. And to prove this on this button element, let's go ahead and let's add a click event listener. And to this, let's assign a event handler function. Let's call it maybe show name event handler. And let's go ahead and let's define this function and inside this function let's go ahead and let's now log this name input ref just to see what this name input ref is pointing to so if i save the changes if i go to the web page let's clear the console here so now if i go ahead and click on this show name button it is going to log this name input ref so let's see what this name input ref stores when I click on the show name button, you will notice that again, an object has been logged here and this object has this current property. And this time, this current property is assigned with a value of type input. And this input is nothing but the input element in the DOM. So that means now this current property is assigned with this input element. So here, if I say name input ref, dot current it is going to log this input element in the dom if i save the changes if i go to the web page let's clear everything here let's click on the show name so null has been logged here that's because i wanted to log name input ref dot current here and not here here it should be the variable name which is name input ref with this let's save the changes go to the web page let's clear everything here and let's click on the show name button so now you will notice that that input element has been logged here and this proves that here this name input ref dot current is pointing to this input element okay so that means this reference variable here is pointing to this input element in the DOM and how we have created this reference variable using this use ref function now we also know that every input element has a value property so on this current which is storing this input element we can go ahead and we can use value property and if we save the changes now if i go to the web page and if i enter something in this input element maybe john and if i click on the show name button you will notice that john has been logged here if i type maybe mary and if i click on this show name button Mary has been logged here. So using refs, we can create a reference variable which points to an element in the DOM. Now here we are adding a reference variable on this input element, but we can add a reference variable on any type of HTML element. And once we have a reference to a DOM element, we can work with that DOM element directly. Like we are working with this input element here directly. So this is the use of refs in React. 